We can do this without apportioning blame. We can seek to understand only what happened. We should do this to fill a void in memory. For a void in memory that takes us away from who we are and how we should look after each other before and after we all die. A lapse in collective memory is itself a form of death. It is an erasure. Some people are not seen when they are alive, but when they are dead, then they are completely erased. Matthew Gonyo was born on the 27th of December, 1947. We should start by retelling the tale of his life. The township was Lingelith. It is in Cradle, in the part of the old Eastern Cape, which was then South Africa. He was an excellent student. He became a teacher of mathematics and science. He completed a teaching qualification at the University of Forte. Mm -hmm. He didn't teach in South Africa immediately, but he began teaching at the former Transkai. It is during this time that Matthew was arrested, together with his co-accused, Dumisa Nzabeza, who is now a distinguished senior counsel and advocate, and Godfrey Silinga, one of the founders of the Tala University Students Association. The judge in his case, on a charge under the Suppression of Communism Act of 1950, Judge Munich, didn't give reasons for his judgment. Even when an application for leave to appeal was lodged, he still did not deliver the judgment. He would give judgment four years later, after Matthew had served his full sentence. 